So when we talk about frontier molecular orbital theory, it's nice to have some simple molecules to sort of just ease into the conversation. So our two simple molecules are going to be this molecule, ethylene or ethene if you prefer, and this molecule, formaldehyde. Great. So um, <clears throat> let's look at ethylene. Ethylene, uh, how many molecular or atomic orbitals are go into our calculation? Well, we have two carbons, and each of those carbons is going to contribute four valence atomic orbitals, the S and the three P's each. So that's going to be eight atomic orbitals from the two carbon atoms. We have four hydrogens. They're con each of those is going to contribute one S, so that's going to be another four atomic orbitals. And in total, we will have 12 atomic orbitals going in. The number of molecular orbitals that come out will be identical. That's going to be 12 molecular orbitals in our output. Furthermore, we need to know how many electrons we have in this molecule. So ethylene, if we just count the bonds in the molecule, we have... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, as I shade those bonds. So those are tw it's 12 electrons in those six bonds. And 12 electrons will fill six molecular orbitals. So what that tells us is when you do this calculation, molecular orbital number six will be filled, and that's going to be the highest energy orbital that will be filled. It will be the highest occupied molecular orbital. MO7, therefore, will be unoccupied. It will be vacant. And that will be the lowest energy unoccupied molecular orbital. So this is just this simple type of thinking before seeing the computation let, helps us know where we should look for the interesting results according to frontier molecular orbital uh, theory. Okay, let's do all the same uh, thought processes for formaldehyde. So we have one carbon. That one carbon will bring four atomic orbitals, the S and the three P's. P's. One oxygen, that's going to bring in four atomic orbitals. And then we have two hydrogens, so that'll be two more atomic orbitals. Those are the 1S orbitals. Add that up, we have 10 atomic orbitals going into the calculation. Our calculation will spit out 10 molecular orbitals. Again, if we count up the electrons in formaldehyde, and I'm up on the picture of formaldehyde, that's two, four for those sigma bonds, six, eight, and then four more for the lone pairs. Again, we have 12 electrons. That's going to fill six of our MOs. So therefore, just like ethylene, we're going to have fewer total molecular orbitals, but molecular orbital six is going to be the highest occupied molecular orbital, and MO7 is going to be the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital, the LUMO. So this, this thinking ahead of the calculations just helps prep us to know where we should look for these important orbitals, the HOMO and the LUMO, because according to frontier molecular orbital theory, the HOMO and the LUMO are what, are gonna, what will drive the reactivity of these two molecules when we think of them as electrophiles or nucleophiles.